How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kiss. Boiled or fried? I'm satisfied as long as I get my... <laughs> Fried eggs, the buzzword that the haters and the keyboard warriors love to use to define and ultimately knock down the 996 series, because of the inexcusable crime of sharing oddly shaped headlights with their lesser Baxter siblings. A 911 should have round ones. Which of course is perfectly fine for people like me, who have to give up on a good part of their hard earned bread and butter in exchange for, well, fried eggs. Another thorn in 996's side, the notorious IMS Barry. Yes, it was and it is an issue with possible grave consequences. However, the proportions of the problem are way overblown due to the internet forums and so-called car guys with opinions but no knowledge. Without going deep into technical waters, let me underline some basics. First of all, the percentage of the cars reported to be affected differ from source to source. Nonetheless, it's in the range of give or take 5%, not as many as you were made to believe. The problem is not specific to 996. By and large, mechanically identical 997, except for the second generation direct injection cars, also have IMS issues. As the 996 was the first water-cooled 911 that overheated the air-cooled loving community, the IMS issue eventually made it the punching bag. If you own a 996 or planning to get one and you think something needs to be done about the IMS, gather proper knowledge about the aftermarket solutions being advertised, as well as the type of IMS your car has. If you choose to replace the bearing, be aware that what you're effectively doing is exchanging a lifetime part with a service item that needs to be replaced every 40,000 miles or so. And there's a range of aftermarket offers, from ceramic to cylindrical instead of the original ball bearings. Try to choose a test and try solution rather than getting advice from a kid with pimples who does have no 996 but a point to prove on the internet for. The other option is to transform the system in order to use engine's oil to lubricate the bearing, just like in an air-cooled engine. Keep in mind that this requires some drilling and cutting, something that you may not be willing to do. There are cars out there that has done over 300,000 miles with no IMS replacement, no engine rebuild, but just timely and proper maintenance. My advice, maintenance is king. Change your oil frequently at no more than 5,000 miles and drive the car and use the rev range that is available. The 996 values have already hit rock bottom, and the only way is up. But they are still relatively cheap and present an incredible value for money if you want a real sports car. What I mean by a sports car is a car designed from scratch as a sports car, not a souped-up version of a family saloon, initially designed to get grocery, and has seats with easy-to-clean fabric in case your kids vomit on them. So buy a 996 for a true analog driving pleasure in this digital age when even the color of your socks matters to your car computer in optimizing power delivery. This particular 98 model car that I use as my daily driver 
doesn't have suspension mode, torque vectoring or any kind of electronic stability wizardy but just a primitive traction control that I can turn off completely. What's more, it has throttle cable, not the e-throttle of the later cars. So it's as analog as manual as it is. I'm not against the computer involvement in today's cars. Back in the day, 600 horsepower in a 911 GT1 was good enough to win Le Mans. Now you can find even more horses in road cars. Getting the hang of such a car requires more processing power than an averagely skilled driver has. So there is no question that the electronics play a vital role in keeping modern eras insane power cars on the road, but in the expense of driver involvement. The Nürburgring lap times and 0 to 60 capability provided with pride but not driving pleasure. And the unattainability of those ring times for a regular driver must be a sobering fact. While using launch control at traffic lights is not much fun.